Hello, Yo. How are you today? Hi, Laura. Nice to meet you. Oh, nice Good to morning meet you too. to on the other side of the ocean. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, and then good afternoon to the other side of the ocean. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Welcome oh, in my not really studio, in my workplace for uh, my digital illustration, and not because mm -hmm. my studio is outdoors as an air painter. Yes. That's so that's not that really my workplace <laughs> for painting and oils. <laughs> mm. Nice. Yeah. Uh, so. I know that you are a plein air painter and yeah. I'd like to ask this to a lot of plein air painters and that is what inspired you to try plein air? Yeah, why do I do this with myself to pack up all the stuff and go outside with all the wind and heavy weight and everything in one um, backpack and everything. Okay, um, I'm an illustrator normally and i do it almost um, digital in photoshop so it's really good to do this when you do commissions to can save as different versions and everything and you can just you can adjust everything so it's really fine to do this job digitally but it's something missing you don't have those pains and even it's mostly not heartfelt projects, it's mostly something I was asked for, not what I wanted to illustrate. So I, I missed a lot of these kind of creativity as a student to do it for my own. And so um, in the beginning, I started to do some urban sketching um, trips with some colleagues. But to do sketches in a sketchbook was too, this was too close to my illustration job. It was, um, I sat in front of a whole scene for, in front of a bl blank page and I thought, really, I have to draw all this stuff without being paid. <laughs> that wasn't my kind of passion I was looking for. But at one of these meetings, one of my colleagues stood there with a French easel and had a canvas and oil paints. And I was completely impressed. I thought, oh, yes, this is this is what I want to do. And so I started. It's nearly 10 years ago. And from the beginning, I was completely um, addicted. First, I started with gouache paints, but that wasn't my wasn't a good choice. I had too much respect um, for oils. I thought, oh, that's too complicated for me. And watercolor is oh, that's nothing difficult for me. But I was really disappointed because when you are painting with gouache, I don't know if you ever tested it. Yeah, I have. It's it feels like oil paints if you are really fast with it but after a while when they the paint dries it gets pale somehow yeah, it like a really old painting you want mm -hmm. to varnish it at the moment you have painted <laughs> and this was really disappointing and with a look to the oil paintings of my colleague it was like oh, i want to do it too <laughs> and so i started oil painting completely self taught with a lot of not happy accidents, I have to say a lot of um, accidental smudging and everything. But to sit outdoors, um, surrounded by nature, surrounded by these beautiful scenes and have time with me and my painting, even if the result was, was to, wasn't to talk about it, I had this good feeling. It was so amazing to me. And it's really like a, a thing for my heart to have a new kind of creativity, completely different to the creativity which is asked for my job as an illustrator. Because as an illustrator, I have to have new ideas. I have to be creative in this kind of... Um, imagining a lot of things or create character designs 
this is a pressure of creativity to to find something new and it's totally different to be outdoors because you don't have to imagine anything it's everything in front of you and all you have to do is look at it this sounds really um, easy but it's the, for me in the beginning it was the most difficult part of it even when i know i know how to draw a house but when i tried to paint a house it was like a construction and I construct little stairways and little windows and knowing about every angle of a window and everything, I painted it. And it looks like an illustration for children's and not like a painterly painting I wanted to do. And so I had to learn only to paint what I see and to learn this kind of scene. It was difficult, but I've learned so much, even for my illustrations and back. Yeah. yeah, that was an eye opener, literally an eye yes. opener for me. Yes. yes. Ah, yeah, that's because before, all about. yes, because before yeah. it's almost like you had too much information. Yeah. From, like yeah. previous knowledge. So you had to set yeah. it aside and see things as they are. Yeah. Which my, is... my brain was more dominant than my eyes. Yes. So yeah. Yeah, it's so a kind of uh, mindfulness to to trust your eyes and not to interpret what you are seeing only to don't judge it it only have a look at it yeah. and then there is um, for me the most um, amazing and for me interesting thing is light lighting all mm -hmm. the exposure outdoors um, those um, fast moving sun and shadows and atmosphere and mood in the landscape and um, for example, when I have to illustrate a special mood, I have to look for references and look at it. And how would a dragon mm -hmm. I have designed will look at night with the light of the moon. So mm -hmm. I have to think a lot about it and I have to look for references and that's difficult. But yeah. now, after 10 years painting outside in all those moods and weathers and all daytimes, I have like an inner library of exposure. So I know exactly um, to um, translate something in the afternoon or in, in the night or something. I, I, I know what to do. Mm -hmm. I know what, what it looks like because I, from observation, not by looking for references, but by feeling it outdoors. That's completely different to um looking at reference photos oh yeah and you have yeah. first-hand experience which i think is yeah, even more yeah. valuable and it's easier because yeah. instead of looking at 50 images and saying oh i think it's this you yeah, can be like, oh yeah. i've been there i've done yeah. that i know how it is yeah yeah and i felt Perfect. it <laughs> that's the most important because mm -hmm. i'm not in front of my subject or my motive i am a part of it Mm -hmm. when I'm in the landscape and in the nature yeah and what I like what I really like I don't know if you you I'm sure you know what I mean you are on holiday at a really beautiful spot at the beach or something and then the sunset and everything is so beautiful you can't you can't grab it with your mind so you take out your smartphone and take a million of pictures of it but you can't you, you never get satisfied by it mm -hmm. only by taking pictures but taking a painting with this one to two hours only focused on this location and on the mood it's like you you really satisfied with this location and after mm -hmm. that after that you are you are happy with it you don't have the the feeling you missed something while by taking mm -hmm. photos you always miss any uh, everything yeah, yeah and totally. so painting is you be exactly being at the moment in the moment at the place and nothing else that's yes. great yes. yeah and so i know with every painting i did i can tell you exactly what i felt in this moment what what the temperature was like 
if there were nice people or not nice people, if <laughs> it's cold or windy or noisy or something. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that's it's so like beautiful. a diary. Yeah. It is. It's like a diary and you're yeah. really living and experiencing the present. Which yeah. Is, yeah. Oh, it's, it's a meditative. kind of meditation. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> because I'm, I'm too nervous for meditation i tried it so often with that monkey brain it doesn't work for me mm -hmm. but um painting outdoors i can't get closer to meditation than while mm -hmm. painting outdoors oh yeah. that's beautiful i love that now yeah i want to i really want to try plenary <laughs> you have oh to gosh. you you it's, yes. um, and even if you're a studio painter and you are um, it's like a boot camp because mm -hmm. you have to make decisions. Yes. You, um, you have to be more confidential in your own skills because you don't have the time to overwork it again. And mm -hmm. that's the best for me. It's the best that I don't have the time to overwork it. So I don't overpaint it because yes. when I, I started portrait painting this, year it's mm -hmm. really exciting for me it's almost new for me and i pay i am painting for hours at the, such a simple motive like a portrait because mm -hmm. i have the time i have no time pressure so i don't make decisions mm. i'm only oh maybe oh maybe not oh maybe and when yeah. i'm outdoor it's it's no time for maybe you have to do it right now because um 10 minutes later the sun has moved too far and so you you st strengthen strengthen you you make your skills stronger yeah you strengthen yes. your skills it's like a boot camp so i can really recommend it to you yeah i'm i'm gonna try it because recently i i talked to a, a friend of mine who's also a plein air painter but he's yeah. he lives in turkey so he went all around turkey and did all of these paintings of, of historic monuments and he yeah. said he decided to do that. He studied with me in Italy and he said he did it because yeah. it's something that in the time of academic painting, they recommend it to students because that's how yeah. your, your skills just go. They just yeah. completely yeah. increase. Yeah. If you can do it there, you can do it anywhere. <laughs> exactly. Yes. Yes. Yeah. And your portraits, I was looking at them and they're they're amazing you know i you had mentioned you had never painted a portrait before and they look absolutely oh, great i'm like are yeah? you sure you've oh, never painted you. a thank portrait thank you means before? a lot of me from hear that from you as a portrait Aww. painter means really i appreciate Aww. thank you yeah oh, thank yeah you. i i um i know as an illustrator i'm still have difficulties while uh, painting noses or eyes too close i can paint whole scenes with kids and everything but when i come closer to the face it's really mm -hmm. difficult for me and so i thought i'm one of those illustrators who can't paint noses for examples mm -hmm. and now i painted noses and oils and they are noses and that's um i had a good teacher it's the colleague which leads me to plan air painting and oils mm -hmm. he also done an online course for portrait painting and he translate all the stuff from painting outdoors um paint by observation only paint what you see not what you are knowing um to portrait painting so mm -hmm. i didn't paint a nose i only paint a shade here a little red blush here a little bit a, a little light highlight here and in the end it was a nose but i mm -hmm. didn't paint a nose and that's it was um once again an eye-opener for me and mm -hmm. i think that even the things i am learning now by painting portraits i will transfer them to landscape painting backwards yeah. again because um that's that's amazing. The only thing um, what um, helps me a lot, lot is to turn the picture, mm -hmm. to, to look at it upside down and to um, adjust the angles and the big shapes. It was so helpful. It was great. And this is one thing I never could do outdoors because mm -hmm. I won't yeah, change the landscape. You can't rotate the earth. <laughs> yeah. That's, hmm.
So I yeah. don't, um, I have to be careful not to get too used to this trick with the turning of the painting. Yeah, before you know yeah. it, you'll be in the landscape and you'll be like, oh, yeah, wait. yeah, <laughs> oh, yeah, okay. Yeah, so yeah, that you could, you could use a mirror right though. there. <laughs> yeah, you could just stand upside yeah, down. Yeah. It looks funny enough to stand out there in some situations with your easel and everything. So I won't turn myself upside no. down for having a better look. Yeah, you'll have a crowd of people <laughs> staring at you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Yeah. Um, so in our first conversation, you mentioned that you are on a mission with your plein air. I definitely am. Because um, after starting with plein air painting, I was so enthusiastic with it and I was searching for others. And I found a lot of them, but not here in Germany. I found a lot of American, English, Russian painters, um, a lot of good inspiration and everything, even a lot of books, but everything is in English and to, mm, I wanted to be, you know, the urban sketching scene, the urban sketches. So. Oh, the urban sketchers. The urban yeah. sketches. Yeah, this big community worldwide yeah. um, with this. Um, um, I don't know. They have some rules to share everything. They are paint, mm -hmm. uh, sketching and to um, do it in front uh, to, to sketch always from life and everything. Yes. And um, they are all over the world. But mostly, every even little cities have own chapters. Mm. So if you go in front of your house, you will find other urban sketchers to sketch along together. Oh, cool. And this is something I discovered in Germany. Um, so for not painting alone all the time, I sometimes go with um, some of the urban sketchers, and they always. Um, pulled me out of my comfort zone because they didn't go to nature they mm -hmm. paint mostly urban in the cities and yeah. so I stood with my easel in in the middle of a four-way street <laughs> with a lot of people around and painted um, cityscapes it's amazing, but it's not really the same because I don't have anyone to talk about <laughs> what about your solvent and how do you transport and wet oil painting or some questions like mm -hmm. these. And um, in addition, they are always, I don't know if you ever seen it, these urban sketches are always sitting on these really tiny little stools. Don't know how to call it. With the <laughs> yeah. knees under the chin. And yes, sketching. I've done that. And <laughs> I stood there always in the middle with my easel. And mm -hmm. so it looks like a teacher and her students or something. <laughs> and I was always, I was the one all the eyes were captured by. And so I had a lot of audience and that's not so nice for me. Um, <laughs> and so I thought if I could only find more of those plan air painters. And I started an Instagram account, plan air malerei. Mm -hmm. and even started a website, Plan Air Malerei, to collect them. Mm -hmm. Until now, it's really, we are only a few. It's not as spreading, spreaded as I hope to, um, mm -hmm. but I hope we are getting more and more here in Germany because it's a great thing to share and to be together with other painters because yeah. it's always you learn a lot and everything and it's always fun to paint along with others yes absolutely yeah um that's a really beautiful mission because yeah like you said a lot of my my friends here in the states are plein air painters or even like i said my yeah all the way in turkey yeah. i feel like you're all very spread out when it comes to like yeah Europe and asia and all of that yeah. area yeah. Yeah. spread out but here they're all like <laughs> yeah it's a it's a little scene that's one part and the other is most of them i i think it's it's i only guess um mm -hmm. are elder people and so they mm -hmm. don't have this digitally social media sharing thing 
they yes. paint for themselves and they and they will tell me are you stupid here's a big big plan air painting scene <laughs> yeah. but we are not connected because we are not digitally connected right. and to meet each other in real life i know there are some festivals mm -hmm. at, um even now but it's it's more like a little community it's more familiar yeah. and i i would like to have those bigger thing to to mm -hmm. find find other painters all over germany and austria and um, swiss yeah of course yeah it's would always be great good to it's be a dream and i'm on a mission i'm i'm yes. in the beginning but i'm here and i will do it <laughs> yes you will find them <laughs> They're there. Yeah. Just gotta find yeah. them. <laughs> we are the plan air painters. <laughs> yes. Yes. Yeah. Oh my God. I love it. It's like a team. It's beautiful. <laughs> yeah. Maybe it will. Yeah. Yeah. I hope so the it, platform you know, has been done. Out. And uh, mm -hmm. if something from Germany, Austria, or Schweiz will see this, it's planairmalerei.de. And yes. everybody buddy can show his portfolio there. Just send Aww. me an email. Yeah. Perfect. I'll also be putting yeah. the website on the description in the video. So Super. people can go ahead yeah. and check it out. Yeah. Yes. And after this, I will be overwhelmed by emails. Hopefully. Yeah, <laughs> hopefully. <laughs> yeah. Maybe. We'll see. Yeah. 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 So that leads me to, I remember last time also, you showed me this incredible book that you wrote thank you all so about nice. plein air yeah it's, it's so happy detailed that you like it yeah oh, it looks amazing i wish i could read german so i could get it too <laughs> yeah um, maybe you can use a translator with a pdf yeah. i sent to you maybe yeah. it works that yeah. would be awesome so i wanted to know so, how that happened it's because i all the books i read about painting and an air painting was in english um, even my bible a la prima from richard schmidt is in english mm -hmm. and everything and not that i thought i could write a book like this but i thought uh, um, i would like to have a german book about an air painting mm -hmm. and once as an illustrator it was an illustrating job i met an editor and asked is it's an, it's an editor for such how-to books how to paint how to do this how to and i asked um do you ever heard about an air painting and do you have a book about it and do you know somebody who could write it because i want to buy one <laughs> so the editor asked me if i want to write one and i thought uh, no way i want to buy one i don't want to write one um but with the time and she was really hardcore in advertising for this project she called me a lot of times and so the the thought was uh, grow bigger and bigger in me with some ideas okay if i ever would write such a book i would mention this and one important thing would be this and after a while i thought okay so i have to do it and mm -hmm. in the beginning i was so naive because i thought my job is to tell her everything i know about plan air painting and she would write the book because I'm not an author, I'm a painter. But this was a big, big misunderstood thing. Oh and so I have to write it by myself. And I was in the beginning, I was really shocked. I thought I never could do it. And so I, I didn't want to write such a detailed book. I just wanted to write about about the joy of painting outside to be a motivation to be more an inspiration book than a technical how-to book but um, when i started to explain why i do something this way and not this for example i didn't want to make a chapter about color theory because it's really boring and i'm not interested in it <laughs> But I can't, um, I can't mention a thing like, okay, and if your color is saturated, just add a little bit of the complementary color. Mm -hmm. Okay, so I have to explain what complementary means. And I can't say, ah, oh, you have to Google it. <laughs> 
So <laughs> the more I want to explain, the more I recognized I have to start from the beginning. And so there's this chapter about colors, the chapter about um, composition and everything. It, it, it gets bigger and bigger with the time. And what I missed a little bit is um, I, it's really not much about the technique to apply the paint in oils. Mm -hmm. So I think a lot of beginners of old painting have to fight their own war with the paint in the beginning. And so I think if I could do it again, I, will, I would have talked more about the first steps with oil paints that's not yeah. this matching all together and yeah yeah the paint can I be think really you hard know to... it too because i don't <laughs> think it's complicated to paint in oil but there have to be no. some points to know about and if you got Absolutely. this about the thinner in the beginning for example after that it's it's not as complicated as because the reaction of many people is, oh, you paint in oils. Oh, 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 oh. That's so hard. no, <laughs> yeah. not at all. Watercolors, watercolors are oh, really God. complicated. Yes, <laughs> but oils, Absolutely. you can wipe it away. You can yeah. paint over it Covered. again and again. Yep. No problem. Mm -hmm. yeah, yeah I feel like oil paints are at first the medium is pretty complicated to do what you want it to do because you still yeah, don't yeah. know how to how to make it do the thing yeah. you and want, this or... matching in this match tones and oh it was so yeah. annoying and, and, and blending this, why happens this <laughs> why <laughs> yes. yeah look at um, the others they don't do it why <laughs> Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, yeah. And I remember when I, because I also began oil painting as self taught. Like I started yeah. when I was, yeah. I think I was maybe 15 or 16, um, because yeah. I really hated acrylic. <laughs> Just hated acrylic with a passion. Um, and I went to yeah. an arts high school and they forced us to use acrylic. So I would take my little tobacco box filled with like little oil paints. <laughs> And I would take and I would paint Clever, oils. Clever, yeah. Oh, <laughs> cheating with paints, yeah. Well, yeah. the teacher knew I was using oils. Um, yeah, yeah, and actually, yeah. a lot of my peers were like, why are you doing that? Why are you using oils? And I'm like, because yeah. I like them. I hate acrylic. Yeah. <laughs> um, and even many people say with oils, painting in oils is all this um, toxic stuff around. So I think true. there are so much alternative stuffs and, and dilu delusion solvents and everything. Yeah. Um, it's no problem. And even mm -hmm. me, uh, at, at least me as an outdoor painter. Oh, yeah. I know no, you no have problem. to be careful. It's, it's not non toxic. Yes. <laughs> no, it's not, it's not, not toxic. not as bad mm -hmm. as it was before. Oh, yeah. Yeah. yeah and then yeah. Um, actually, because of that, uh, funny story, just really quick. Um, when I first started learning how to paint, I only knew about yeah. linseed oil and turpentine. So you'd use the turpentine yeah. to clean your brushes and yeah. then like, yeah. like that's yeah. what I did. And then the linseed oil to help the paint flow. Um, and then because I would paint in my bedroom, I became allergic to turpentine. <laughs> yeah, yeah, in fact, yeah. That was yeah. too much, too heavy. Too much, yeah. yeah. So yeah. now I keep that little black thing, that's an air purifier <laughs> to clean what? the air. That oh, oh yeah okay thing, yeah. yeah yeah it cleans yeah. the air and I keep it right next to where I put my brushes to um I now use mineral spirits instead odorless mineral spirits but I still put it right next to the air purifier so it sucks yeah. up all the toxic air and then yeah it cleans the air. <laughs> but, Have yeah. you ever tested these um, Chelsea classical solvents? I With have the lavender before. And I love yeah. the lavender one. Yes, it smells so good. I actually yeah. ran out. Yeah. I have to get some more. <laughs> But yeah, yeah, really yeah. I discovered it a few yeah. years ago at the, um, there was an art fair, a, a creative mm -hmm. world is the name, where um, brands all over the world are showing their stuff. I yeah. went there and I discovered this classical, Chelsea classical stuff, but mm -hmm. I'm also a big fan of the Gamsol from Gamblin. Yes, yeah, and, I use Gamsol. Um, sadly, it's, um, it's non as it's not as non-toxic as yeah. they told yeah. because um, Europe has really serious and mm -hmm. um, straight um, strict 
law, strict laws about what to mention on the on the bottle. Oh yeah, on the yeah. Yeah, and I think at the moment you can't buy it here in Germany. Not at mm. all. Everywhere it's sold out. And um, I heard, it's, I don't know if it's only a rumor, that it's because of the description on the labels. They have to label mm -hmm. it a different way that it's not non-toxic. It's not yeah. as toxic it's, yeah, as it's, white it's, spirit it or turpentine, but it's, yeah. And right, right. That's difficult maybe for an America, American yeah. brand to come in. Yeah. Yeah. That's a good point. Yeah. Speaking yeah. of art fairs. <laughs> <laughs> you mentioned that. <laughs> yeah. I remember you also mentioned that it was through an art fair that you found New Wave, the New Wave Pashad boxes. Exactly the right um, creative world, this fair. Um, because there are no other plan app, uh, really no other, or not many of other plan apps <laughs> They're hiding. in Germany. There, is, there isn't a market for it. So it's not interesting for any shops to sell um, pochard boxes, for example. Mm -hmm. So I built my own different styles, all categories of um, difficulties. <laughs> um, and I always wanted to buy one of those American pro pochade boxes, but they are really expensive. And I want mm -hmm. to spend money for something I cannot touch before. I want to right. look at it. I want to and see how it. it's uh, how yes. it's worked and how it is fabric and everything. And so um, I was really happy to see the staff of New Wave Art at the fair. And there was this nice young guy called Keith. Oh. It was really amazing. And we talked about um, plan air painting and that I'm on my mission. And I yes. to told him that I am writing a book right now. It's two years mm -hmm. before. Um, and so he made me the big offer thank you again, <laughs> the big <laughs> offer to um, buy one of those pochard box as a really sale price. So oh, he, he awesome. doesn't, I, I think he didn't want to get it back home with, <laughs> to America again. Yeah. So it's a win-win situation because yeah. now I have my, can you see it? Is it yes. Yeah. My, oh, it's so cool. Uh, Hugo pochard box. And I love it. I love it. Oh, I love I those. <laughs> There's little magnetic gimmicks in it because you can mm -hmm. can put the panel. It's everything. It's look at it. It's um. It's well, that's magnetic. awesome. Yeah, and I love it. It's so clever. It's so um, good engineered. Mm -hmm. So um, it's really um, really comfortable to to use outdoors, and it's lightweight. Yeah. And I. I I was a lot of people talk to me only because of my equipment, <laughs> not oh you are painting. No, no, no. Oh, what That's box? A nice box. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. Okay. Oh. Yeah. But I mean, I feel I like I really love it. Yeah. No, and I feel like it's really. Um, I personally want to buy one someday when I start doing plein air. Yeah. And it seems like since it's lightweight and since it's so easy to to use and, and carry i feel like it's also made the plein air yeah. experience a lot easier you can absolutely recognize that um, the person behind painted by um, themselves because mm -hmm. um it's so so much good thoughts behind um yeah and even you can um you know why to use outdoors, it's much better to to use a palette in a gray tone, in a natural gray tone and not mm -hmm. a white palette because of the light situation. Yeah. When the sun shines, you are so blended by a white palette, you nearly mm -hmm. can't paint outdoors. And, and you, you recognize with this little details like the color of the palette that they are exactly knowing what they are doing. So yeah. that's really great, yeah. That's awesome. Yeah. 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 And they have um, a use, so such little um, pill cases for my mm -hmm. oil paints. They are yeah. nearly airtight, not really, but mostly. When I go on a painting trip for several days and I know I will paint day for day and will um, have to bring my whole stuff 
every day to the sea and have to climb about the dunes and it will be mm -hmm. hot and everything i try to lighten the weight of the stuff extremely so i won't get the paint tubes even though i use the smallest one yeah and so i fill it in those little pill cases and mm -hmm. these are great because they are fitting perfectly in this there little hole of the box. I, I didn't think that they um, thought about this also, uh -huh. but it's perfect for me. It's a big oh, benefit. That's awesome. Too. Yeah. yeah. And also with the little distin distance of, of the palette to the lid, you can mm -hmm. fill up the oil paints at home and just close the the oh, lid. Cool. so it won't get to touch each other so it's no problem and you don't have to clean up your palette on location you can right. close it and just take close it, it. You at home yeah oh, that's awesome yeah i'm sold <laughs> i'm gonna buy one yeah okay <laughs> i'm going <laughs> let me go buy Thank one you <laughs> no, i have to save up because they're advertising they're... and <laughs> yeah advertising. yeah no i i want one i've always Paid i've been looking at them forever <laughs> Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I've been wanting yeah, them for I, yeah for a I'm while. I've been wanting not them, so. paint. <laughs> yes, I'm convinced. Yeah. I will get one, and then I will go plein air. <laughs> yeah, that's exactly this. Yes, you come to Europe. It's your po your point to start plein air painting. Oh yeah, I will visit you, yeah. and we will go plein air, and I'm gonna make all the mistakes, but I know I'm it's gonna so have you right there. It's so good to have plans. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Even yes. we will skip them maybe to next or two years later. Our, it's so good to have planned. Yes. Yeah. Yes, absolutely. So I also wanted to ask you about your domestic course. Ah, that's my newest baby, and it's um out now until I think one and a half week, and it's really exciting for me. We did this course last summer, so it's really for me, it's a long time ago. And mm -hmm. um, they asked me to do this course, and I was really surprised because they don't have other plan air courses on their platform yet. And mm -hmm. it's a really big platform. But I think they are, um, their motivation is they want to discover the German market. Right. And so they, are looking for teachers to teach in German audio because that's not very used to with these big platforms to teach mm -hmm. in German. And I was really excited to do this, but it was not such a problem from the content because I have mm -hmm. my book as a perfect script. Yes. I added more about the technique as I told you because it's mm -hmm. now it's definitely for beginners in oil and so oh. I started really with applying the paint on the canvas from the first beginning start of it mm -hmm. um, and we have um, different le le lectures lessons I don't know mm -hmm. how lessons. to say it. Yeah. different lessons to prepare everybody even the beginners to paint after that you are able to paint outdoors and yes. one of the most difficult things as i told you as a boot camp is to hurry up outdoors so it's all about simplification yes <laughs> it's about um seeing it the right way only paint what you are seeing but also mm -hmm. um only paint the essentials of the scene while squinting and everything and that's all mm -hmm. in this course and i'm really really exciting to see the first results mm -hmm. so in winter time i don't know how many of them will get outside right now to paint outdoors but i had seen the first um, exercises results of the first mm -hmm. lessons and they look amazing and the feedback from students all over the world is, is so great even though it's really strange for me because um, all the time I try to keep my face off of social media because it's mm -hmm. all about my paintings and not about yeah. my person. So you, before Domestica, you won't ever discover any pictures of myself. Mm -hmm. And now this Domestica <laughs> course is online and they are really pros in marketing. So uh, yes. there are a lot of trailers from my course all over Facebook, all over Instagram. And every time it's my person 
and that's yes. really strange to see yourself, oh. to hear yourself, and I'm not <laughs> unhappy with it, but it's strange. It's yeah. not about me. <laughs> it's about my painting. Yes. Yeah. But yes. if it's a motivation to to push others outdoors to paint, that's mm -hmm. that's worth it. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And seeing your work, it's a testament to how hard you've been working all these years and how you've improved yeah. immensely. And it's yeah, I would I trust you. you. I 100% trust you. Like yeah. I would want your you can, course. You can. <laughs> you can watch my progression you can see at the yeah. very first paintings i i've told you before i've numbered my paintings from the beginning and at the moment i am with painting 965 i think it's this one it's the newest one oh, I love that. and so um everybody can watch how i started Everybody yeah. on my blog, you can see my first oil painting, and mm -hmm. then you can see ah, that's what it looks like when you started. It doesn't look yeah. like this. Mm -hmm. You have to do this to to make your progress. Yeah, yeah, and you had yeah. mentioned also that you wanted to reach one thousand because you had said that you have 1000 bad yeah. paintings inside of you so you might as well yeah, get this rid is, of them this is something i've heard and i know some people don't think that it could be a motivation because the sentence means in every painter is a thousand of bad paintings and they mm -hmm. have to be painted and after that the good paintings will appear yes. um yeah it could be annoying to start and think, oh, I'm painting number one, painting number two, thousand paintings. But if you um, even count the paintings you did in kindergarten, and a lot oh, of our, true. a lot of kids are painting and drawing. And if you count every single single painting and drawing, you reach this thousands. Oh really yeah, fast. That's no problem. Yeah, yeah, I love yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. So we are going to plein air and we are going to make a thousand paintings. This yeah, just now. paint. You, you <laughs> yes. just you only just have paint. to do it. You learning yeah. is doing and not um, talking about it. Absolutely. Yeah, I love that. Yeah. Thank you so much, Yo. Um, if You're anyone welcome. wants, yeah, of course. If anyone wants to follow Yo, uh, below is her Instagram. We also have her Instagram in the show notes or in the description. We also have Yo's website down there. Um, yeah. <laughs> we have Yo's um, Domestica course. And also, Yo, please send me a link to your book so I can yeah, you know, put I it will. down there in I case will. anyone yeah. wants it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Thank you so much. Yo, this uh, was thank so you wonderful. so much. It's so, it's so wonderful to, to your interest in my paintings. It's yeah it's um yeah, it's overwhelming for me it's it's a time Aww. in my career where everybody fits together at one point i i, yeah. I paint for 10 years and now mm -hmm. it's like oh, 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 it's, it's amazing yeah, yeah. come out yeah. yeah we make connections what happens? Beautiful. <laughs> because yes. i'm there all the time but now i yeah. am somehow discovered i don't know what it is yeah. Maybe it's because well, it's, I'm it's closer to my thousand of my painting number thousand. Yes. That's it. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> I love that. It's like the, the origami. Um, there's this thing in origami where if you make 1,000 paper cranes, you get a wish. So maybe it's kind of like that. Maybe yeah. It's a thousand paintings. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Fine. <laughs> I love that. Thank yeah. you so much, Yo. This was lovely. Yeah, I thank you. Thank you. I will send you all the stuff you are requesting. Yes. And so fine. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so have a nice day. My day Me too. to an evening. So you have mm -hmm. the whole day in front day. of you. Yeah. yeah. Make the best of it. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Thank, thank you. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye-bye.